Hey, this is for lab number three, our Ford reverse starters. This layout that you see here is how your components should be placed in the box. This is done after all the wiring. You can see the location of everything and I'll go into a little bit more detail as we get going here. These are the starter layout and up here in the top corner the CR1 will now be used as the three phase source. You've got the forward starter and then you've got the reverse starter that will be over there. And then on the far right you've got the uh, terminal box that will simulate connecting up to your motor. You've got the auxiliary contacts, the reverse auxiliary contacts, and you've got the mechanical interlock that is installed also at this point. Here's a view of the starter from the other side. You can see all the components there. And another view of everything. You've got the starters. A little walk around the entire starter. Now don't forget about the transformer and uh, You've got your circuit breakers coming in here, your 24 volt bus, the neutral bus, buses, and make sure that you pay attention to the transformer grounding. In lab one, a few of you did not uh, properly ground your transformer. We are grounding the output of our transformer in these labs. Here's your front panel with the stop and start button, or the forward and stop buttons, the forward limit switch and the forward on indicator. Reverse and stop two. Reverse limit switch and the reverse on indicator. Now as you're wiring, you want to make sure you print out your line ladder and highlight each wire you put in and highlight it. Now in this case you have to think geographically. The forward button and the reverse button are right next to each other. The FW holding contacts and the reverse holding contacts are next to each other but they're all on opposite sides of the box. So you want to wire the buttons first then the contacts. So we'll go from stop to forward and stop to reverse. Then we're going to go from forward to the contact and then from that contact to the other contact. Okay? And you can see the back panel here. I've got the wiring come to the stop one and then to stop two. You can see that wiring all placed in there. Then we're coming out of stop two and going over to forward reverse. You can see that up there at the top and we're hitting the forward reverse and then that extra wire there it's what heads over to 7L4 on the starters. Okay, you've got the uh, there's your wire that came the forward push button RV 7L4 and FW 7L4. The limit switches, little tight quarters and you can pop the module out, do your wiring and then pop them back in if you want. The one on the left I did without popping it out and the one on the right I popped it out just to show you that. And here they are pushed back into place before I put the cover on them. Here's a view of the wiring. 
all the cable tray covers put on it and everything all buttoned up and it's ready about ready to start testing as a reminder I highlighted every single wire as I put it in and that helps me keep track of where I am and what I have left to do. Now as you're working on this it's important to go through this step by step and make sure that you uh, get every wire into its proper place. Don't forget to clean up. There's some examples of things left behind. A little scrap piece there, another scrap piece there, and some little tiny cut wire ends over there. Clean up the scrap and all the loose wires. It should be pristine when you are done. Finally, be careful. Can't say that enough. Check each wire as you go. You will be doing testing before you energize, so do not energize until you're instructed to. And finally, have some fun. See ya.